Welcome to an introduction to AWS Billing and Cost Management. Hi, I'm Sardar Nevruzoğlu, Solutions Architect at Amazon Web Services. In this video, we are going to talk about AWS Cost Management. We'll cover an overview of the AWS Billing Dashboard and Cost Management Tools and a brief description of the AWS Free Tier. AWS Billing and Cost Management is the service that you use to pay your AWS bill, monitor your usage, and budget your costs. Billing and cost management enables you to forecast and get a better idea of what your costs and usage may look like in the future so that you can plan ahead. You can set a custom time period and determine whether you would like to view your data at a monthly or daily level of granularity. With the filtering and grouping functionalities, you can further analyze your data using a variety of available dim dimensions. The AWS cost and usage report tool gives you the ability to understand your cost and usage data trends and how you are using your AWS implementation and identify opportunities for optimization. Let's go through an overview of the service and some of its tools. The AWS Billing Dashboard lets you view the status of your month-to-date AWS expenditure, pinpoint the services that account for the majority of your overall expenditure, and understand at a high level of your costs are trending. One of the graphs located on the dashboard is the spend summary, which shows you how much you spent last month, the estimated costs of your AWS usage for the month to date, and a forecast for how much you are likely to spend this month. Another graph is the month to date spent by service graph, which shows the top services that you use most and the proportion of your costs that that service contributed to. From the billing dashboard, you can access a number of other cost management tools that you can use to estimate and plan your AWS costs, receive alerts if your costs exceed a threshold that you set, and if you work with multiple AWS accounts, simplify your accounting. Let's take a closer look at each one of these tools. The AWS Bills page lists the costs that you incurred over the past month for each AWS service, with a further breakdown by AWS region and linked account. This tool gives you access to the most up-to-date information on your costs and usage, including your monthly bill and a detailed breakdown of the AWS services you are using. To further analyze your bill, you can also download a CSV or PDF file. The AWS Billing and Cost Management Console includes the No-Cost Cost Explorer tool for viewing your AWS cost data as a graph. With Cost Explorer, you can visualize, understand, and manage your AWS costs and usage over time. AWS Cost Explorer includes a default report that helps you visualize the costs and usage associated with your top cost occurring AWS services. The monthly running costs report gives you an overview of all your running costs over the past three months and provides forecasted numbers for the coming month with a corresponding confidence interval. AWS Budgets use the cost visualization provided by Cost Explorer to show you the status of your budgets and to provide forecasts of your estimated costs. You can also use budgets to create notifications if you go over your budgeted amounts or when your estimated costs exceed your budgets. Budgets can be tracked at the monthly, quarterly or yearly level and you can customize the start and end dates. Budget alerts can be sent via email and or Amazon Simple Notification Service topic. The AWS Cost and Usage Report is a single location for accessing comprehensive information about your AWS costs and usage. This tool lists usage for each service category used by an account and its users in hourly or daily line items, as well as any tags that you have activated for cost allocation purposes. You can choose to have AWS published billing reports to an Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket that you own. These reports can be updated once a day in comma-separated value CSV format. Reports may be viewed using spreadsheet software or access them from an application using the Amazon S3 API. Some AWS services come with a free trial period. AWS calls this the AWS free tier. The free tier is designed to give you hands-on experience with a range of AWS services at no charge. For example, you can explore AWS as a platform for your business by setting up a test website with a server, alarms, and database. When you create an AWS account, 
you are automatically signed up for the free tier for 12 months. When your free tier expires, AWS starts charging the regular rates for any AWS services and resources that you are using. To avoid charges while on the free tier, you must keep your usage below the free tier limits. To help you stay within the free limits, you can track your free tier usage and set a billing alarm to notify you if you start incurring charges. Ok, let's summarize what we have learned. AWS Billing and Cost Management provides tools to help you to access, understand, allocate, control and optimize your AWS costs and usage. These tools give you access to the most comprehensive information about your AWS costs and usage, including which AWS services are the main cost drivers. Knowing and understanding your usage and costs will enable you to plan ahead and improve your AWS implementation. I hope you gained some info about billing and cost management. On behalf of AWS Solution Architecture Organization, I'm Serdar Nevruzoğlu. Thanks for watching.